got it. Hello? <clears throat> Hello? This is Mort McCoy. And welcome to the first of Headmaster Mort's Edu Tapes. Today we're talking about your camp. Now, former vault resident or someone who killed a vault resident, let's start off with the basics. Placing your camp. When plugging down your camp, C-A-M-P, that's an acronym, for the first time, remember to... Remember to take the lay of the land. Consider the grade of the terrain, general defensibility and proximity to your surroundings. Could that cliff edge be used to protect your flank? You bet your chops it could. Once you've found the perfect spot, it's time to move on to the best part of working with your camp. Construction! Construction can be an intricate process, so a steady hand and an eye for detainment <clears throat> details, damn, I had to get that one off. An eye for details are a must. You should take a moment to familiarize yourself with the camp's patented intuitive construction interface. But don't worry, we'll cover construction in gory detail in the next of Headmaster Mort's Edu Tapes. So long. Come on, Mort, what was that? Hello, dedicated listeners. Welcome back to Headmaster Mort's Edu Tapes. Today, in this second tape, we are talking construction. Now, the first step of construction is. Wait, what? Is that soda? Soda's red, right? Wait, oh. <clears throat> electing. First, electing what you're going to build. Once you've made that election, it's just three easy questions to construction success. One, is the location I've selected going to work for an object of the size and shape I'm building? Two, have I read the schematics thoroughly? And three, do I have all the required materials too? Who the hell bled on my notes? Saul! But if I find out you, you're gonna bleed on... Short on materials, loot the local junkyard, mills, and warehouses for parts. Missing a critical schematic, your local vendors might have just what you're looking for. And on that note, this has been Headmaster Mort's Edu Tapes, Edu Tapes. See you again soon. Solomon, so help me, this better be dead. Where are you hiding? Welcome back, lovely listeners, to Headmaster Mort's final tape in the camp series, Powering Your Camp. After listening to the second tape, you should already be well-trained, enough to build a generator. If you haven't yet done so, I'll wait. I do, 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 da. I do, 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 ah, screw it. All right, I, I'll assume you nailed it. Now, generators are the heart of your camp power system. Once your generator is built, all you need to do is connect it to the object that needs power with the wire. Though, be aware, your wire will need a clear, unobstructed path to establish and maintain a direct connection. Some objects, however, like simple light bulbs, do not require a direct connection. All you need to do is run a wire from your generator to a power pylon. Place the power pylon near your lights, then voila! Let there be lights! Well, this has been Headmaster Mort's Camp Construction Holotapes. Please check back with Headmaster Mort himself at The Wayward to learn more about his other exciting courses, including... Mort, can I still eat this? And mutations. Am I a monster now? Thanks again for listening. Ha! Nailed it.